Hi, this is Stephanie March from Minneapolis St. Paul Magazine, and I am here today at Coup d'Etat, Uptown's hottest new restaurant. We're going to give you a sneak peek on the inside workings of this place and how it all came together. Do you have the restaurant in your brain? Or yeah, I'm like, absolutely. is this, you see this, this space is so raw. It's such a big square block. Can you see this? It seems a little intimidating at first, but I think after doing it a few times, yeah, I can envision exactly what that private dining room is going to look like. I know exactly what the bar is going to look like. But also, you have to leave room for variation. I think there are some operators out there that just, it all gets designed by uh, the architecture firm and they purchase everything and, and it ends up not being the space that they wanted because no one was in there feeling it and touching things and really taking a, a personal interest in the space. Do you see a light fixture here or anything? Yep, so um, we will have a kind of a center island bar here that will be kind of the focal point of the restaurant. And then above it, we will have these uh, capiche shell type pendant lights coming down. And there's always a few found items that I'm still looking for, like the fireplace mantle. So today we are here with Brent at Art and Architecture. And what we're doing is we're kind of scouting for stuff because what's really cool is that Brent is a big piece of how the restaurant gets to be put together and you know, finding things is kind of one of your passions and your hobbies. Yes. I know. So you're not going to use this, the... Just in case this works. <laughs> not going to be using the Pizza Palace? We can, we can find a place for We that. can work that in. Sometimes you come here and you just see the old world style of stuff mm -hmm. and that sort of inspires you to maybe have something, you know, that fits your needs a little bit more. I think you don't know what inspires you until you see it. I yeah. Mean, you don't just come up with a notion. You, you have to be in these spaces to see what's going to fit in your restaurant. So we're looking at very decorative molding to go around the, the mirrors and the bathrooms and the large chalkboard above the kitchen. I just hope they have 200 feet of it. Well, here we are in the finished space. This is D-Day, this is day number one. And I am here with JT, one of the owners. Now tell me, JT, is this exactly as you imagined it to be? This is above and beyond what I expected it to be like. I mean, it has exceeded all my expectations from the food that's come out, the menu's changed around two or three times as they've been perfecting everything, and it's, in, in my opinion, and I'm biased, it is phenomenal. Uh, to the decor, I mean, you just walk around the space and everything came together perfectly in my mind, and all the details that were separately thought out mesh well as a combined design, and it's just amazing. 